Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. You all know that matter is what things are made of and that it possesses two fundamental properties. It has mass, which is the quantity of matter that it has, and volume, which is the space it occupies. Well, today we're going to learn about the states that matter can be in. Matter can be in three states. Solid form, liquid form and gas form. Each one of these has its own characteristics. Let's get to know them. Solid state is characterised by having a fixed volume and size. Although, in some cases, we can change its size, like with plasticine or clay. In these cases, they are malleable solids. Liquid state is characterised by having a fixed volume and variable size. Liquids take the container's shape, like this glass or jug. Gas state is characterised by having a variable volume and size. In the same way that liquids take the shape of the container holding them, but gases always occupy the full volume of the container. Now we know about the three states of matter. But do you know how we can change from one state to another? Changes in state happen after cooling or heating matter and there are different types. Melting, solidification, evaporation and condensation. Melting happens when matter changes from its solid to liquid form and happens after rising temperature. When we heat an ice cube or leave it at room temperature, it melts and changes from solid to liquid. Solidification is the opposite from melting. Matter changes from liquid to solid form. It happens when we put water in the freezer and it turns into ice. It goes from liquid to solid. Evaporation is when matter changes from liquid to gas. After liquids are heated, for example, when we boil water, it turns into water vapour. It turns from liquid to gas. Condensation is a step from gas to liquid and happens when matter in gas state is cooled. Have you ever noticed then when we get steamy windows or mirrors, water droplets appear. It's produced when water vapour touches a cold surface. In that same moment, water vapour cools and turns into liquid. Easy, huh? Well, now we know the states of matter. Goodbye, friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV.